So part three, um, this is where I put together a checklist of things that I'm gonna be taking on my trip to Yellowstone. It's basically gonna be from Central Florida to the Rocky Mountains, through the Grand Tetons to Yellowstone, back through South Dakota, Tennessee, Georgia, and then back home. It'll be under a, a month worth of travel. But um, that type of trip, to ensure that you're not gonna get in trouble or find yourself in some sort of bad situation, needs some planning. You need to uh, understand what the pitfalls might be, what the traps are gonna be like. And you have to be able to plan for those, even though you may not get all of them, if you plan pretty well, you can cover most of the problems, the issues that occur. In this episode, we're going to go over the checklist of items that you need in order to take a trip like that, um, an extensive trip. And that'll be right here on Wild Journeys. Part one, knowing your route. You need to know where you're gonna go and how you're gonna get there. You need to know the timing, the miles, how much time you'll sleep and rest in between uh, travel points. Part two, the essential things you're gonna need um, to stay out of trouble. Everything from making sure you pay your insurance uh, before you leave to having a bank account number. Things that are gonna be important to keep you out of trouble. This episode is gonna be about your checklist. Items to bring on your trip now that you've gotten the background information, you can kind of back into the things you're going to need. So, The checklist. Um, I basically break the checklist up into categories. Uh, clothing, toiletries, medications, the new one, COVID supplies, um, odds and ends, a sleeping gear, vehicle necessities, um, and then I have a whole separate list on the final week prior to me leaving that has its own checklist. I'll go over um, some of this in the description so you can see exactly how I think about this, but I'm going to be gone about a month and during that month I expect to at least find a couple places to do laundry. I know you can do it in Yellowstone, plus I'm going to be staying over with some friends in, in Laramie and they'll have a washing machine and a dryer. So I feel pretty good about seven days worth of clothes. But I also have to think about um, layering uh, in terms of jackets, shirts, those type of things. I wanna be able to be comfortable. I don't wanna sweat necessarily, but I do wanna stay warm, which brings up nighttime sleeping in the van. It can get chilly in here. I do expect to have a electric blanket and some odds and ends that'll keep me warm and I really enjoy cold weather anyway being from Florida. Toiletries obviously everything from um, toothpaste to contact lens cleaner. Um, COVID supplies, masks, sanitizer uh, for my hands and also a small sanitizer container so uh, that way I can carry it with me have it on my person when I go hiking when I stop to get gasoline, those type of things. Under odds and ends, field guides, binoculars, camera equipment, um, paper towels, uh, everything from utensils to bathroom towels and salt and pepper. Um, I, I write this down because I don't want to forget something. I don't want to get a hundred miles out from, you know, central Florida and go, oh shoot, I forgot my binoculars. And I literally keep this uh, list and update it as I remember things and I check things off as I collect them. Sleeping gear. Obviously the bed behind me it's bigger than a full-size mattress. It's probably closer to a queen at this point. I've added some cushions in the back. That's gonna be real comfortable but I really 
have no excuse not to bring my favorite pillow literally my favorite pillow i think there's like a my favorite pillow or something commercial i don't use that guy i have my own favorite pillow and blankets heavy wool blankets those type of things um vehicle necessities what i like to carry obviously there's there's things in this van that are a little different because it's a large van i carry all my hand tools i have working gloves instead of winter mittens which i'll also bring that's in a different category um, an extension cord toe straps a safety vest um, tire skids so i don't get stuck anywhere and then the final week of this checklist it's basically perishable items now what i do um, i actually keep all of this stuff uh, as I collect it in basically, and I almost warehouse it, the water tanks for the sink, the um, toilet uh, that I bring with me, everything's kind of mothballed at this point and it's put away in a garage. But what I'm also doing, I'm keeping all the food goods that I've been purchasing for the last several months. I eat a lot of spinach, I eat a lot of beans. Those are things that I can store and they're all together. So as I said, I basically store everything that I'm preparing to take with me in one place. So it's easier to find what I'm ready to pack, but it also helps me keep my checklist um, up to date. And it's real simple, I'll show you. My tanks for the van, they're sealed with plastic so nothing gets in. Here's my step, I've got to figure out if I'm bringing that. Um, the toilet is right there um this is a keurig coffee maker that is coming with me my daughter audrey and her boyfriend is joining me um, for the first leg of the trip they've got a tent um and i've been stocking up on coffee and and those type of things and then um literally i've begun to stock um, beans, mushrooms, coffee, sanitizer, hand sanitizer, spinach, everything that I'm going to need, I'm, I'm beginning to gather and put in one place. And that's going to make packing and keeping track of everything I need to take with me um, a lot easier. As I said, I don't want to forget anything. And some of this stuff will be crucial, um, including tools and those type of things. So that's how I do it. What I also have is a room in the house uh, that allows me to put all my camping gear together. It allows me to put all my electronics together, camera equipment, um, the GoPro, everything I'm going to need and I keep all that ready to go. The van is pretty much ready to go anytime but when I'm building a trip like Yellowstone, I want to make sure that um, I don't forget any of these things that are uh, added uh, to what I normally carry on the in the van. Um, the van, basically, I do have hand tools in, but because this is going to be such a large long trip, I'm going to bring extra tools. So that way, if anything goes wrong, I should be able to repair it. Hopefully you'll join me for part four, which is servicing your vehicle. Um, in my case, I have the 2018 Ram ProMaster that uh, has been converted to a camper, um, and it's, I can't wait to take it. Um, in your case, you may have a car, you may have an SUV. Uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what to um, prepare for in your vehicle and why it's important that you prepare properly. So you try to decrease the chances of having a problem um, while you travel. And so we'll be getting into some of the details with that. If you're a car expert, um, you probably know exactly what to do. But if you're somebody who wants to get out of the house and visit a national park, visit some place that's, that's different, um, you might want to watch the video and let me know what you think. This is Mark, Wild Journeys. Please subscribe and join me for part four coming soon.